Hey world, this is Dev and thank you for being on my channel. Now you're watching a series by the name of Know Your Algorithm and it is an important question. What do you need to know about an algorithm in order to use it effectively for any classification or a prediction problem? Now I wouldn't argue. The more you would understand about an algorithm, the better it would be to build a model around it, to use it well. However, I do believe there are points of diminishing results. There are certain things that you can understand about an algorithm and use it effectively well. I would only suggest to dive deep if you want to get better results out of an algorithm. So here are five questions that you need to ask in order to understand any algorithm. Let's begin. What are the common names of the algorithm? Now this would seem obvious, but it is important. As you would start working on complex models, you would understand that algorithms never work in an isolation. There's always a wrapper around it, which combine multiple algorithms to give, a, give an output. And that's why it's important to identify the algorithm at play. Understanding the common names, understanding the terminology around it will help you to identify which algorithm is working and what are the outputs of that algorithm. How would you prepare data for the algorithm? This is a very important question. If you would ask any data scientist or a machine learning engineer, preparing data is where our 60% to 70% time goes. And it is very important because every single machine learning algorithm have certain assumptions they are built onto. And these assumptions need to hold true for the data in order for you to get a better result. Some wise men once said, garbage in, garbage out. And that's true. You're, no matter what kind of data you're gonna feed it to your algorithm, your algorithm will play with it. But that wouldn't mean that the output would be right, that the prediction of the classification that you have done through that algorithm is correct. So you need to prepare your data. You need to prepare your data as per the assumptions for that algorithm. So understanding those assumptions becomes paramount for understanding any single algorithm. Now there are certain easy data visualization tools. They are very easy uh, diagnostic tools which will help you to understand whether your assumptions hold true for the data set or not. And you can use those to prepare your data. How does an algorithm learn from the training data set? Often how machine learning algorithm trains is synonymous to the algorithm itself. Some of the algorithms would take a lot of time to train itself. Some of the algorithms do not take much time for the with the training the data. But overall, this is a lengthy process. This is the most time consuming process, but it is important because the output of this training is what you would use in order to predict, in order to classify and then later test it on your testing data. So understand how any algorithm train itself. How do you provide those parameters for the training? What representations is used by the model? This is a nut world question. The numbers in the data which you receive from the output of an algorithm is very important. And to understand those output is much more important. This is what your algorithm would use in order to predict this is what your algorithm would use in order to classify. So the output of that algorithm becomes really important. For example, the coefficients from a regression model is what we call the output. Where should we look for more information about the algorithm? Now this is something which is more of a best case practice. Since I have started studying data science and machine learning, I understood that there are a lot of things and there's a lot of ground that you need to cover. From statistics to uh, machine learning, from machine learning to deep learning, and there are multitudes of things which you cannot just hold into your brain. So always pre prepare this repository. Always keep valuable documents close to you, create a cheat sheet, uh, create those whatever websites you check out, always keep a repository of those websites, start keeping bookmarks into your system. There are research papers, there are journals, there are very nice ebooks, there are textbooks which will help you to deep dive more into understanding any algorithm. I hope these questions gave you a little context of how you can understand an algorithm, what you need to know about an algorithm or what questions at least you should ask 
to understand how an algorithm can help you. Now, if you keep following this series, I'm going to share a lot of algorithms uh, in, the, in the coming days. And I would also share the resources around those algorithms. All the questions that I have just mentioned, I'll give you those answers for that particular algorithm and more. I will share how those algorithm works, the codes around it, the resources that you can look into if you want to understand more or dive deep into the statistics of an algorithm or the core working of an algorithm. So stay tuned and I will see you next week. Have a happy new year. 2019 is here.